Don't you love recording mishaps? Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Quest for percent We, I had some audio issues, so I have to redo two missions real quick. Good news is these missions don't take long, and we'll see what we can, we'll understand we'll have left afterwards. The first one we're doing at Honor, uh, Honor Monk Thieves. Shouldn't be too bad. At least hopefully. Games ever decides to load. No. Captain Monroe. Of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Faber seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now, come. Okay. Well, I didn't know I think this. I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. They don't when you do like a restore Captain. point, you lose, like, your outfit and stuff. So that's kind of cool. So we get to find out to a different Morgan. Wrong. I love the uh So this Colonel Faith He knows you're up here helping these uh, people split beard yes. bus. Alright. And no. This mission he knows I'm here to produce a report in the situation. Is the ultimate the filler mission I have ever seen in this game. And I think my presence might be and making things worse. I don't say these what things do you mean? normally. I worry like, he's taking some of these actions more to protect mission. himself now. Okay, the act of it is amazing. More retaliation, maybe Part even of a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that um, shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I'm for. I mean, I don't know the if he part of any of this or doing not. this mission. This is the other like problem. Redundant. There's a culture now in his regiment. <laughs> Rod has traveled down the front. <laughs> okay. Sorry about well, that. Just show me where to find this wagon. Such a weird little mission cut. Oh. You don't need to be involved. And there's the other mission we get to do today. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Um, but I must ask you, please. Well, be we're not gonna be discreet. We really we're gonna do this Navy Seals like. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation. Oh no, 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 no! You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know. Favors has many flaws, but I don't uh, believe he's callous. Born in this is literally the epitome of the trying to Hey, I need cling this. On to something Go get that's it. Already okay. Gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I've already done it on. Oh yeah, that like literally everything's reset. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna go. Oh. Well, if we be discreet, I don't have any arrows. I don't have anything. Well, I can't be super discreet. Like All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's get up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Whoa! I miss the fact in Red Dead 1 where you could wear the bandana and not get in trouble for me. Come on! I kind of wish that mechanic was back a little bit, but you know. 
Oh, it's a generic horse. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, well, now I, I can't promise. That was easy. Okay, boy. Yep. Yeah, that's what the best fit way to do it is. Just yeah. those guys and move on. Uh. Medicine crate. Get said medicine. Take that. If I had the ability, I'd probably just skip this mission, but. I try to record all my trials that air, including the episodes where I grew up completely I can't get back. No. Okay, boy. <laughs> oh, this horse is so bad. You know what? I'll meet you back there. Ah! Now we're back at the camp. His name again. Captain Monroe? Monroe. I've got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Like I said, it's such a filler mission. So many better missions in this game. Now you want a bad mission? Okay, let's do a bad mission. The one that goes with it. A bridge to nowhere. What did I mean? Wow. Long time's ahead of us. for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels, I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... 
Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. This <laughs> yeah, mission sucks to too. Under the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. And you understand why I hate this mission? Sure. Let's get yeah, this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? You know how I say you have a hate this filler mission? Yeah, I know story well, one was mission. this is not well, a filler chaos. mission. I mean, this is actually a very well, serious so. mission. But it feels so much like filler. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. So, literally, you... All right, so we get them out over here. We go over here. Got it. Ready when you I don't even understand the point of the, the car. Look how far they had to left. walk. That's the spot. Lower it from there. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Hey, it's this. Oh, weird. Nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. Got it. All right, come down. Climb down the ladder. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. Bridge is wired to the detonator. I tell you, for gold Need for this mission, you have to do this bundles. part in a minute thirty-five. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. A horse. Wanting. Pick up some dynamite. No, literally, I literally kept saying that. This is how, you, like, how it feels. Pick up some dynamite. Plant dynamite on pillars. Run back, grab more dynamite. Don't jump off the bridge. Like I just did. <laughs> I'm hoping some of these missions just get better. And heck, I feel okay. like I should go get the hand cart we are on the you last okay job. Sure, go on, I can handle the rest. I see you up there. Hey. Only the last thirty percent of missions, so could it be that bad? But we maybe it's the best we've ever had. Maybe the cops can chase us around. Hey. Jealousy. Alright, now the part that sucks with this mission the most. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Why don't you just run? It would be faster to run. Arthur! The train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! Hard as you can! That was close. I probably should have died there. Thank you. No problem. 
That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. We're gonna destroy a bridge, Charlie. Wait. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Done, Tom. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John. When the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. Think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How do you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. We'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. <laughs> it's a strange little episode. It was, I mean, good quest, but just, you know, a lot of uh, storytelling. Game? Okay, so that's what I was like, uh. Next time on Red Air. More stuff, I'll see you then.